All right, lesson 10, we're going to go ahead in this uh, lesson. It's a little bit long, but it's pretty cool actually getting to some coding. Um, it's the fun stuff. So we're actually going to, there might be an instance where there's a processor there that doesn't really do what you want it to do. And NiFi has the ability to let you uh, custom make your own processor. So I'm going to show you in this lesson how to custom make your own processor. Um, for this, you're going to need some things already installed on your um, desktop. Uh, we're going to use Java, uh, Maven to create the... Uh, the base uh, project, base templates, and then Eclipse. I like using Eclipse. Just to, it's a really good editor and a good tool and a good IDE to help you know troubleshoot things, and it just makes it easier to code. Uh, we use Maven to build a new processor. I'll show you how to how to transfer a flow file. You can you can set up different relationships based upon certain criteria. Um, so basically, you've seen things like pass and fail. That's a relationship. So we'll show you how to define those. Uh, how to create a property. So you notice before some some processors had properties assigned to them. Like I think the uh, get file, you had to define where the get file actually was and what, what directory to look for things. And then like I said, we'll use Maven to build a new processor. It's said it twice, it's pretty important. Um, and then we'll create another processor in the same package. So in this case, when you're done with this lesson, we're going to have two processors made um, and they're going to be in the same uh, package and they'll be in the same library. And then I'll show you how to use Maven to actually, uh, to actually um, create a, an Eclipse project from a Maven project. Again, I like using Eclipse. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to do everything in the demo. I'm going to create a new directory called New Processor Directory. And we're just going to put everything in there. So let's go Okay, let's go ahead and build a new processor. So what we're going to do is create a new directory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it... Um, new processor. <laughs> Let's go ahead and CD into that new directory. And then we're going to check to make sure we have Maven and Java installed on this uh, desktop. Type that with Maven-version, dash maven dash version, MVN-version, dash version, and then Java-version to make sure we have both packages installed. Okay, we see we have both, both of them installed. So what we're going to do now to create our own processor is we're going to type maven space archtype colon generate. And hit return. And it's going to come up with a whole bunch of different types of um, uh, types of Java projects that we can install for us. So we want to narrow it down to NiFi. So we're going to type NiFi. Uh, 632 we want NiFi. You see, we only have one choice there, which is number one. So we're going to hit one, and we're going to hit four for uh, version 021. And then we're going to go ahead and start typing in our group ID, and we're going to call it uh, SCC, lowercase. And we're going to define the artifact ID as SCC processor. And let's see, and we're going to have to ask us for version. We'll go with 1.0. And then the base name, we're just going to call it demo. And then it's going to come back and give us what the default uh, package name is. So we'll go with the default, SEC process.demo. And then we're happy with all the settings. We'll hit Y for yes. And what it just happened is we just created, using Maven, a, a uh, processor for NiFi. So if we explore some of the directories I created for us, we'll see that buried deep here in this demo directory is a processor called myprocessor.java. Again, this was created for us using Maven. And you can see that we generated all this code for us that is NiFi compliant. Um, it created uh, a class for us called My Processor. It created a property for us for um, defining a property for this processor called My Property. And it also created a relationship so that when we're used doing, doing the flow, we can define where we want the flow file to go. I'm going to call this relationship My Relationship. Again, this is just default out of the box that it created, Maven created for us. And then the important thing here is the onTrigger class. This is where all your logic takes place for actually if something happens where the flow file comes into the into the code here. This is the code that gets enacted when the flow file comes into the processor. So what we need to do here is just add some code to um, terminate the relationship. So we want to transfer the logic for this flow file when it comes into our processor. So we're going to go ahead and create one line of code where we're going to go session.transfer and we're going to transfer the flow file to the my relationship. We're going to go ahead and save it. 
And then we're going to go ahead and so can show you one more thing that it was created for us. There's a test directory. So if you want to do your JUnit tests, it already created a test directory for you called myprocessor.test.java. And you can just see here that um, it's got a test case that it has. Again, this is just out of the box that it created when we created the Maven arch type generate. Let's go ahead and do a build. We're going to go ahead and go to the um, SCC. So we're in SCC.processors directory. And I'm going to go ahead and type maven mvn space install. And you can see we got an error. So there's something wrong with our POM file. So we need to go over and edit our POM file to clear out the error. So it describes what the problem is. So let's go up here and look at the POM file, which is right here. We'll go ahead and edit it. And I think what we need to do is remove the word snapshot. So we're going to go ahead and remove the word snapshot where it says parent. Go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and save it. We're going to go ahead and do another Maven install. You can actually do clean space install, which will clean the, uh, clean the code out and then um, rebuild the uh, package. So we do Maven install. And let's see, this should work fine now. We're going to go ahead and the code will compile. And the important thing to note here is we have this directory called, um, okay, it runs the tests, okay. So it's going to create a bunch of subdirectories for us, and then we're going to go ahead and look at the directory called um, nifi demo on dash nar. And this nar file is the one, is the file that's created for us that you want to move into the lib directory in your nifi instance. So if you look here under the lib directory, this is our NIFI instance. We're going to copy that NAR file over to this lib directory in our NIFI instance. So again, this was created for us when we did the Maven install. So just a matter of just simply dragging that NAR file, which we created, which has the my processor in it, and just drop it in the lib directory. And now let's go ahead and start up NIFI. Just going to go ahead and type uh, run NIFI. We've always done, and we bring it up. Let's bring. Let's look at our processors. We have port 8080. Let's go look at our processors, and we should see a new processor in there called my processor. And there it is. It's got a description. It's got everything we saw in the code that's that was set. Um, so we can go ahead and look at the properties. Look at the configuration. You can see we have the relationship in there called my relationship with the description on it. Um, again, this is where we're going to define the flow file to go on success. We also have the property which we define called my property, which we have to put something in there in order for the, this thing to get enabled. So you can see here it tells us what we need to do to make this thing work. So let's go do our little generate flow file processor we usually do. And we're just going to send a, generate a flow file and we're going to send it into this my processor. Uh, come on. We'll do the typical thing. We'll make it uh, 10 seconds and make it one kilobyte long. So again, every 10 seconds, we'll generate a one kilobyte flow file, and we're going to send that flow file into the my processor processor. Okay. So in order to uh, get this thing finished, we're going to go ahead and add another processor. We'll just go ahead and log it, and that's going to take the output of the my processor and send it into the log attribute processor. So again, we're going to go ahead and let's see. We're going to go ahead and go back to the my processor. You can see we have the relationship already defined. If we try to define it again, all right, we're going to self-terminate. If we try to define it again, it's not going to let us because it's already we already have it defined going into the my into the log attribute processor. So we don't need to do it. So the last thing we got to do is set up that my property. So we'll just type any value in here we want, but we def we said we have to have it in the code. It says it has to have a value there. So we'll just put in some value. Hit apply. Now we see we have all three processors ready to go. So let's go ahead and start them up. And we're just going to generate a flow file. It's going to go through the my processor, and it's going to go through the my relationship into the log attribute. 